500 of the best and took me off heavy cover. My 2020 just got it done. He's still going. Can I get it at? I think it's too far. Maybe. Maybe that's close enough. Maybe. Come, yeah, I got it. I got it. Oh, it's a barra. Come on, I'm just teabagging. Oh, big teabag. Oh, it's fast as that is big. I'm thumbing, eh? That is a big fish. Oh, come on. Stay with me, my little box followers. I'm getting on here. I'm right on here, mate. <laughs> That's a massive jack. Big North Queensland beast. Look at that. A monster off the timber. Holy, that's a giant for up here. Mate, there must be a there must be a mafia of them in there, eh? Just up. Yeah, I've got it. Oh, straight off the top. Yeah, I got it again. Oh, it's a better one. He's a good fish. <laughs> Come here, mate, before the... <laughs> that is in the 40s. <laughs> Jesus, you cannot take your eye off this for a second. That was Jack every day of the week. My God, this place is off the chain. It's still going, still after it. Yep. Oh. Mate, this is nuts. I'm going to cheat. I've just poked the hook out the back end of it a little bit. Let's see if there's more in there. Come on. Yep. Oh, you're kidding me. Just lost a barra, Don. Oh! Gone. Just got snapped off, line gone, everything. <laughs> Get into it, mate. This is going to be exciting. All right, folks. Welcome back to my lure box now. This might look like any other creek, but the honest truth is, this place is right on the edge of the earth. We have gone so far off-road to capture this place and uh, I found it on Google Maps. I've done a ton of research and this place is as far away from anywhere as you are likely to find. It's been a mission to get here. I've brought a second car with me. Don Lauren's old man's come along with me for a safety, um, bit of a safety net. And I've just put in been fishing two minutes and I've been snapped off and had about eight hits this place looks fire and it is so remote to get the boat here there was only one way you could do it you probably can't tow a trailer in here unless you are absolutely off your head mad with bearings um, let's just get into it let me show you what this place is about this is nuts here and this is what the dream has always been about for me as a kid growing up and starting to chase uh, saltwater fish chasing fish on lures reading articles about barra fishing um, and chasing jacks over the last 20 years. This is, this is where I wanted to be. And to be here of an afternoon on a run out tide, um, you know, it's later in the season, but we're gonna get this done, watch this. Yep, oh, just again. The midges are so thick, they're in, under my eyelids. Every single snag. Oh, geez, are you? Just smack it and hit up. Mate, the, 
these, the eyeballs are gone, both eyeballs are gone, and the hook's out already. It's a brand new bolt three casts in. You are kidding me. The midges are rife here. I'm getting lifted up. All in the name of my first Cape Barra and uh, hopefully a jack. Oh, Barra, go again. Come on. Come on and take the hooks, man. Mate, at this point, the number of hits that are coming in, I'm so reluctant to keep fishing weedless. I just want to throw a proper jig head on to get the hook up rate back up. Because I'm getting slaughtered along this bank. But not hooking. I've got super sharp weedless hooks on. They are just pinned like they're pins. Oh, busted. Come on, come on. Oh my god, this place is cooking. Yep, now I've got it. Oh, it's good. Come here. Oh, that just belted me and it's a heavy fish too. I love that. Beautiful big man, great Jack. Oh, that is outrageous. He's a beast. Come and have a look at this. Don't want to get too close to the crocs. Have a look at that. Now, I've been fishing for five minutes. Oh my God, this place is off the rails. <sighs> Come around here, folks. This fish means a hell of a lot more to me than I can tell you, to be re really honest with you. That is one beautiful mangrove jack taken right up in the tip of Queensland in the most remote creek. It all started with Pete's Law and the Jack Guide about 10 years ago and uh, I'm continuing to find the adventure and find these fish and this one has just grabbed me just I've missed about 10 on the way to this one and then just poked the hook out a little bit harder and he grabbed it and boy do they go hard these northern Queensland uh, Barra and Jack are just insane look at that eye now we are camping, it's so rare that I take these fish, I put probably 99% of my jacks back but I'm taking this one home to put on the coals tonight for the family and we're going to enjoy every bit of this. Mate, what a fish, what an experience, I have found my heaven, he found that eco gear bolt and that was the end of the story, <laughs> I'm going to keep going and uh, there's dinner tonight and the adventure is going to continue, stay with me. This is off the rails, this place. Everything I've ever dreamed of. Boy, it took a lot to get here. Oh, gone, straight off the end of a log, big barra. Big barra. Come here. Straight off the end of that log, beautiful big barramundi. We've got to get the net for this. Here's the first, first barra in the top end. Oh, look! <laughs> oh, it's going, it's going so. Quick. Oh, quick! Cooking it right now, my business. Come here, buddy. Got him. There's the barrel I've been dreaming about, folks. Oh, and it's a cracker. Oh my god, this place is off the charts. I might be a bit excited. This place is absolutely cooking. Have a look at this. Oh, I missed a giant at Proserpine, but I haven't missed this one. And this salty, boy, this makes me, I'm so happy. The emotions are taking care of me right now, really good. I've missed three of these in the first 100 metres and I've just hooked a beauty. He's fought like a champion, look at that. This is what the trip's been about for me. Time with the kids, getting them out on the boat and enjoying it and then coming out and absolutely slaying the place and finding places that are the hardest places to get to, to find the fish and to bring to you guys and share it with you. This is just the dream. 
what a fish. Smash that weedless eco gear bolt. Simon, thanks for these heads, mate. It's awesome. Paul, I'm gonna make this one yours, mate. The way you helped me to get away and gave me the peace of mind with everything, this one's all yours, brother. Oh, we are living the dream and I can't wait to keep going. What a fish. Show you where that barrel was. He was sitting right off this fallen horizontal timber, right on the other side of it in there. And the, the lure barely got to move. It literally hit the surface. I saw his bucket come up, grab it, suck it down, and away it went. Right in tight against that, he was sitting in there. Unreal. Let's go find some more of that stuff. Because that is dream quality. I'm getting destroyed by these midges too, I They're in everywhere. Literally don't want to miss a piece of a structure because they are on everything in this creek. Literally everything that has any contact with the water, they are holding on it. Oh, I'm belted again, another barra. Oh, Jesus. Do you see what I mean? Literally you can't go past a piece of structure. Oh, look at that. Oh, have a look at that. Another barra. Beautiful. Look at the colours on him, his eyes and everything. I've got to get him out of the water quick because there's some big, there's some big crocs in here. Spoken to some of the local indigenous people from around the corner. And... Uh, the fish go back in quick and I don't stuff around on the side of the boat. <laughs> it's a small enough boat as it is. You cannot pass a piece of cover here. I don't even want to change my lure over. It's, it's been bitten in half on the side. But they grab it before it even gets to work. It's just incredible here. Oh. Spooking fish right up on the edge of this bank here. This is nuts. There's an edge, there's a little back eddy in there in shadow, and I reckon they've got to be in there. Take a look at this. The water's just pushing around. You can see bubbles over in that back corner. That's a sure sign that fish have been feeding over there. Let's have a look. That's where he was. Come on. Oh, there's barra right here. There's 30 barra. <laughs> Camera didn't pick that up. There was just a monster school of barra sitting there. <laughs> I tossed the lure in front of them, they didn't want it. Yep, Come on. yep, got it. Don't know what this is, maybe tarpon? Oh, it's a little jack. There must have been 20 in there. That's why I called tarp on, but it was <laughs> Oh my God, they're still busting in there. Mate, they are going off. Look at that beautiful little jack. Taken, skipped under that death zone of shadows there. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh, there's bust ups in there. There it is. See you, buddy. I got it. Yeah, we got it. Oh, brilliant stuff out of the drain. Right at that little drain there. That was so textbook. I hope you caught some of that. Here he comes. Oh, look at this. Well, it is one after the other this afternoon. I am loving it. He's only a rat and I don't care because I'm here for the adventure, the getaway to the barra and to see stuff like that. My God. I don't know what to do here. This is nuts. You just got to keep casting. I cut my hands are shaking. I can't even do it properly. 
there's just so much that has gone into this trip. I can't, I really can't even explain to you. Like the, some point I'm going to have to share it all with you. There is so much that has gone into this trip, so we can do it safely with the kids. I can get my fishing in, and I can fish it like in in spots like this, <sighs> mate. To see it coming together like this, there is bait everywhere coming out of a tiny little drain and to see a bust up, throw on it and catch that barra. <sighs> Stay with me, my little box followers. Oh, I'm getting on here. I'm right on here, mate. <laughs> right out of this drain, like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Could be one of the best days of my life. I won't say the best, Lauren. Could be one of the best. <laughs> what a fish. Say good day to YouTube, mate, and I won't forget you. Starting to feel sorry for my plastics, to be honest, because this, this is just insane. I feel like I need to retie my leader before I even send it. Oh my God, look at that. A massive gar's just been shunted up onto the bank by a big barra. Full size, like 35 centimetre gar. Oh, he's still going down this bank here. He's still going. Can I get it at it? I think it's too far. Maybe, maybe that's close enough. Maybe, Come. yeah, I got it. I got it. Oh, it's a barra. Mate, that was a 40 metre cast on this setup, and this is my skip casting setup. Look at that. <laughs> Just showering prawns, and mate, they are so fast on those shallows. Oh, this is just the dream, folks. Can't re rig quick enough. Look at this bolt. Just bashed up. It's got to come off. I've got to go again. The leader is just chundered. I've got to retie. The feeling for me, honestly, now is is it, I've got everything going through my veins at this point. But there is massive relief for me because I did a trip here about eight years ago, not to this creek, but I did a trip north, and the furthest I got was to the Dane Tree, and. There were so many creeks so heavily fished and netted that I really struggled, apart from Hinchinbrook and the Daintree um, and a couple of really small systems. Boy, did I put my casts in and fish hard as I ever have for very little reward for what I dreamt about with North Queensland. But that was, that was about, oh, it wouldn't be 10 years ago, but it's getting close, I suppose. And I was really disheartened. Not to say that the fishing is this good everywhere up here, because the, the reality is that I've put in some sessions and I've been sharing some of those with you where I catch nothing or, or almost nothing. But the reality is if you're willing to keep pumping your research and to go to the ends of the earth to find your fish, find that adventure and then look around the corner at those tiny little creeks, just like I have, it's there for us. It's still there for us which is what I, what I was really hoping I would find on this trip is that the, the dream barra and dream jack fishing is still here for us. My God. <sighs> Let's roll. I want to get my father-in-law back on here. He's gone back to tell him where the esky is because we, we moved the esky out of camp and he's gone back to let him know for tea and I want to put him on here. He's never fished before. And he came down just to keep an eye on me because we're so far away from everything. And he's driven all the way back to camp, but I want to get him on here just to see what this is this is all about. Yep, oh bastard. Yeah, I got it! Oh, it's a good one! Come here, Jack! <laughs> Right down deep, baby. <laughs> and I thought Jack straight up because I've come to the dark side. I was fishing the green side over there before in the shallows and I thought I want a Jack. I'm going to come to the dark side and see what happens. Nice big dark coloured mangrove Jack. Look at that. Oh, I love
love it. See you, mate. I was just fishing it a little bit too fast, which might not be possible for Jack, but a little bit too fast. And I had to sink it down to the bottom and then just rip it up off the bottom and bang. There is plenty happening along here. A lot of these barra and the jack, the hits that I've got, I've just let it go out of sight. This is like a tenon stain system, really dark system. And it's just got to get out of sight, which is almost a foot deep and that's all. And then away it goes. First little crop too, I think. Yeah, I reckon. There he is. Come over, I'll give you a look at him. He's only, he's not massive, he's only small, maybe 1.5. Have a look at this. Oh, he's a bit bigger than 1.5. Got it. <laughs> and I did about a 1080 around the around the mangrove root before it hit the deck. <laughs> Beautiful little cod. I was happy with a cod a week ago, but my confidence after fishing this spot has gone through the roof. They are beautiful, these little things. They look at that. Look at that. And I love them for their aggression and the way they break up a session. They're bigger fish to fry the sub. We're going to keep going. Look at this stick here. Come here. Have a look at this. Come out of there, Jack. Oh, stuff getting minced in there. Right in there, Brazzy. Watch this. That's just silly. Love it. Shouldn't have cast yet, but whatever, can't wait. Yes! Oh, big buzz. Big buzz. <sighs> Shouldn't have cast yet, definitely. Huge buzz on the lay down. Watch this. Come again. Come again. Come again. Oh, there's bust ups and crashes all around me. Jesus. That was a big barra. Missed him. Big lay down, missed the barra. I'm only fishing 2020. I'm fishing my jack set up the sub. Oh, again. Again. Yeah, I got it. Don't know what that is, but it was quick. <laughs> and it's pretty heavy. Pretty heavy. Mate, this is unbelievable. This fish. Oh, it's a massive jack. It's a big North Queensland beast. I'll get the net for this. He's a 50. He's an easy 50. Oh, look at that. A monster off the timber. Holy, that's a giant for up here. Mate, look at the size of this. This is a North Queensland giant. Come here. See if I can get you down low enough to have a look at this. Wait until you see this. I've got my, I've got my roller too. What a beast. Oh, mate, he is huge for a North Queenslander. Oh man, he's going big. He is, he is right up there. There's my fitty. Easy 50. Let me show you how he's taking it. Look at the face on this giant. 500 of the best and took me off heavy cover. My 2020 just got it done. Corrado and my little Raider. Boy, it's the best little combo going, I reckon, for this skip cast and stuff. This giant is going back in. I'm gonna keep a smaller one tonight for the barbecue, but this beast gets to fight another day. Oh, how good. He has completely just downed all of that. Look at that. 
it's completely just jawed in there. Oh, he's just rinsing the pliers. Look at the size of this donkey in a North Queensland Creek. One of the smallest and one of the most off limits you're gonna find and that's where I've come to try and find fish like this. I know what a 50 in North Queensland means and it means a hell of a lot to me on this trip. Go on mate, off 50, he doesn't wanna go. See you buddy. Oh, I don't know what to do, the sun's going down. I've got about half an hour. It's our last day here and my first shot in this creek. And I'm running to a, t a family time frame at this point. So there's a lifetime of this in this for me. It is hard to take, but not when you're getting belted to bits. Look at that bolt. While I got you here watching this, I've had so many questions about these jig heads over the years, and at some point I am gonna make my own, but these are the ones that I've been using. Jig Heads Australia Sharp Point, okay, and they come set with the um, weight in, in the front, the way I like it, and they are super sharp. That's what I'm using this afternoon. I love it with these weights on them, it just gets them down. So that's what I'm using. If you wanna see, you can see the weights there. So I get lots of questions about how to fish these weedless weights and um, where to get them from. I'll give you the links to all that stuff so you can get it. Copy Don, can you hear me? You've got your choice between a barra and a jack. Good on you mate. Are you parked up at that beach there Don? Mate, you are welcome to jump on board. Do you want to come and have a look? I've caught about 12 fish since you've been gone. Funny as it sounds, mate, I'm just not a fisherman's bum. Like, you know, honestly. Keep going, mate. Righto. Well, I am, I am in my heaven right now, Don. I've, there's, I've, I've pulled probably eight barra and four jack. And, uh, or more, mate. It's, it, 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 this place is insane and I'm not even out of sight yet. Oh well. So we get in there, get these fish, and get them on the barbecue that is over there, just simmering away. Campfire. There is a lovely barra. Beautiful, beautiful, he's about 600. And a big 400 jack. Look at that, boys. That is dinner tonight. Let's go. There they are, Don. Beautiful, I reckon I can manage on this. That's perfect, isn't it? Fantastic, mate. Oh, mate, I'm so stoked. It's a bit concerned after it was taking taking its toll at those little freshwater joints. Yep, that's pretty good. Goodness, no. Just gonna flip the bag tight and that's the end of it. There's some meat on here. Yeah. Chuck it on a massive yeah. If you want to go chase a shark. Do you? Yeah. There's actually a lot of meat on this. And that just turns down the fish. Oh. Okay. Alright, that is a boneless fillet. I'll get that. I'll get that line out. So that's pretty good. There's a couple of big barra scales pull them off but that is prime Lloydie mm -hmm. that is yummo and there's a little bit of meat left on there but I'm not trying too hard yeah. and I don't do this very often so whatever oh, my God, Look at that big oh mate I caught a couple of these yeah, yeah. 
and I probably dropped another two this big. And I'll probably drop, you know, I got snapped by a couple because I was fishing 20 20, which is, you know, that's Gold Coast Jack size. Yeah. This is the first barrel I've ever kept. And it's the first jack in about four years that I've kept too. Probably can't see anything because I've got my headlamp on. Yeah, that's all right. I that's can see right. what you're looking at. There's so many spikes up on the top end of it. You just, you, I can tell. They've got stuff on them that is literally made for cutting line. I swear to God, it's like it's literally a serrated knife. Come and have a look at this. Like there is a so this is their gill rakers. There is a serrated edge on that. See that? When oh, they yeah. when they jump out of the water, shake their head, they flare all that, and they, that little point there catches the line underneath and it serrates on those. Okay. And that happened twice to me today. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll use that to take it take a shark down tonight, Lordy. We'll have a go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The best odds are that I will cook them. Yeah. Cook everything else. Cook everything else. Have you, Lloydie? Did you mm -hmm. cook the bacon and eggs? Good to go. Yep. Uh, good to go. Mate, just handling those barra. Mm -hmm. They're so sharp on their on their gills. Right, we're back at camp and uh, we've just prepped up the barra and the jack's got fillets. I'm going to put one barra on the hot coals in the fire and the jack and the other fillet of the barra, we're just going to put in breadcrumbs, throw it on the pan and there's four, so there's four fillets in total, so one for each of us tonight and this is as fresh as it gets. It's not often that I go out and uh, catch fish, keep them and then we eat them that night at camp, but this is what it's all about on our trip. So we'll get straight into it, Lordy. I'll throw the headlamp on so I can see what I'm doing. We'll do one barra. So he's gonna take the majority of it. So the barra was like 60. And there was probably about eight barra that I pulled today. The way I was getting them was with the soft plastic, so skip cast some plastics in underneath the snags. And there was one section in particular right next to a, to a crocodile that they were all just busting up on a whole heap of shrimp that were just in the, in, in the mud. And they were basically, the barra's backs were out of the water as they were honing down on these shrimp. So that'll do. I can go straight on. Beautiful. Beautiful jack. The jack ones are mine. Yeah, you can have the jack. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it was hard taking the jack and the barrow today because they were the first ones that we'd caught on the trip. But the pressure, the pressure to uh, get a feed of fish was immense after I had a couple of goals. <laughs> and missed my big barrow. I was pretty dirty after I missed my big proserpine barrow too. That is good. Oh, and that is good. Perfect. This one's going to be the one that we all want bits of. It's going to be so yummy, Lloyd. Yummy lime and butter barra. Let's get up on the coals, Lloyd. It's all good. Oh, that is, that's better than the others. It's getting better, Lloyd. Yum. And that's a really light crumbing. I love it. Look at that. That's going to be good in about two minutes. Took a plastic. All right, we've got a couple of fillets that have been going on the pan. We've got one in the fire, in the hot coals, and I'm smashing part barra, part jack fillets, all crumbed with lime, and it is unbelievable unbelievable better knowing that it took a, a soft plastic in a creek a couple hundred meters up the beach how good we'll just do a quick check is he falling apart yet oh yes he is he is perfect body yep let's go and get this barrel out of the coals Gino I have a sneak peek here, Lloydy. You bring the... All right, let's have a look at this. Oh my God. That is awesome. That's what you want to see when she comes out of the coals. 
and try a little bit. That's amazing. <laughs> Let's share that one, Lloydie. That's the best of the lot. Yum. Hope you've enjoyed this one. I never do catch and cooks because I'm big on catch and release, but this tastes so damn good. Hope you're enjoying the adventures. There's plenty more to come, and I'll see you in the next video.